great because in music they are really a great way to add some flavor to a song depending on the tempo it's really about the tempo as well so um, a lot of times you will see triplets though as eighth notes um, that's the most common is as eighth notes sometimes as sixteenth notes um, but they can be a really great addition to a song Steve Harris from Iron Maiden a lot of Iron Maiden songs that's a great place that triplets are used triple it 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 Okay, so we have right now, we don't have a triplet right now actually, we just have three eighth notes, which would signify, depending on the key signature, how many beats we're going to be getting. So in order to really signify that it is a triplet and we are giving this set of notes one beat, we have to put a line underneath and a three, and that signifies that it's a triplet. And I'll write this out here. And then to play, this is all eighth notes here, which is common. What you're going to commonly see with triplets is going to be a lot of times eighth notes. So right there, it's going to be triple it. That's how you can remember it. So when you're playing it, or you could do one, two, three. Um, I tend to count numbers sometimes, or you can do triple it. And that will signify one beat for that. You can also do 16th notes with a triplet. And it's gonna be the same thing, one, two, three, or triple it. It'll be triple it. It'll just be a little bit quicker. So if we are writing a song in four, four time, face clap, of course, then we'll just do We have our triplet, so that's one beat. And then we'll do up here. There'll be a two beat. And then this will actually still be a three beat, even though it is um, a 16th, it's still one beat. And let's do D to end it. And then yeah, when it's written, like this, like the D, just do it under the arch, three. And that'll be our fourth beat, and that will complete this measure. The most common way you are going to see a triplet is an eighth note and sixteenth note form, um, but you can also see it as a quarter note form with the bar underneath, three, triple it, and then sometimes you'll also see it half note form, and whole note form, but commonly I've seen it mostly as the eighth note and the sixteenth note form. And for the triplet arch thing, it can be underneath the notes or it can be above the bar as well, as long as it's signified with a three underneath the notes, you will know it is a triplet. Um, so. If you see it either way, they're both correct. It's just how it's written. I wrote it out a little bit differently.